creative community this is Marsha welcome back to the markets of sunshine and today is usually my Etsy shop update so I show you products that are for sale in my Etsy shop and those little glass spice jars that I showed you lickety split four of them dashed out the door so I'm so excited about that thank you so much and I will link that video at the end so you can go take a look at those those little jars are so cute and the Jars themselves are really thick glass. They're not cheap stuff. So, um, and then the little ceramic um, decorative toppers are so cute. They're fruits and vegetables. And those are available in my shop. There are eight left, I think. I think there was 12 to begin with and four sold. So I think eight are left if I'm remembering off the top of my head correctly. And so I just wanted to show you what's going to be coming next in my shop. And I thought I'm going to, this would be something that you guys would really love. Are these going to be these cute little embellishments? Okay. And they're going to be of all different shapes and themes. So this one's a bunny, as you can very well see. And so I've added buttons all over him. So first I did a little collage patchwork kind of a thing with fabric and paper and then I came and then I added buttons and cute little decorative uh, pieces here and then a little bow and a cute little charm hanging off his ears isn't he cute and then on the back I've put felt with a pen so you can pen him onto something this is so adorable so this could be penned on the front of a journal cover it can be penned on the front of a card and I'm going to show you how I'm personally going to use it. And I thought that you would like this. And we're going to do that project together. Not making these, but this here. So this is a pillow that cover that I've made to go onto my bed. And it's using 5 inch square blocks. And then patching these all together. So there's 9 all together. So it makes a 12 inch block in the end. And then I'm going to pen that cute, adorable little bunny right into the middle of the panel. Isn't he so cute? It'll be so pretty there. And now I can change these out by the season if I want to. I'm going to be making butterflies, um, maybe a cat, thinking dragonfly, things that I like, you know, a flower. So there's going to be different pens, different designs, all made the same style with the buttons, cute little charm, bow, and they're going to be listed in my Etsy shop. So that's coming soon. So those are not available yet because I have so many other things that I'm working on and doing and <laughs> adding. And so I wanted, I finished up this pillowcase, which was a lot of fun. And so that is come, going to be put on my bed. But these aren't going to go in the shop. These, this is just for my tutorials here to show you. And I will show you how to make it. So we'll make one of these together. They're really quick and easy to do. Your supplies that you'll need ahead of time. So if you want to go ahead and gather these. And then in Monday's video, I'll show you how to make one and put it together. It doesn't have to be chenille. Any fabric will do. Because it's just going to be for decorative purposes on uh, your bed. And five inch blocks, as you can see, is a nice size. And then you can buy the pillow forms. So you could stuff it if you wanted to and make your own pillow form. I might wind up doing that because I ordered it off of Amazon and they sent me one big pillow instead of two 12 by 12s. Don't ask me how they messed up on that. <laughs> I kept looking at the pillow going, no, this doesn't come apart. No, it's all one pillow. So I was like, should I cut it in half and sew it? No. So I said, let me just send it back. <laughs> so anywho, this is so pretty and it's just gorgeous. I love the colors. And I happened to find a wonderful person on eBay that had these chenille blocks for an excellent price because the ones I was looking at on Etsy were okay price range, but it was just more than I wanted to spend. But then I found somebody on eBay for a lower price and almost three times the amount of, I had a, I got a hundred five by five chenille squares. 
So, and it was free. No, let's see. No, I did pay for the shipping. The shipping was only $8. And it came really, really fast. So we're going to make that together. And I have some fabric already cut up and ready to go to show you how to do that. So today's video is also going to be a little project. So I wanted to show you that little Etsy thing first, but then we're going to do a project together and then we'll have an Etsy share at the end as well. So we're going to have our laminator involved in today's project. So if you have a laminator, you get it out, heat it up, and I wanted to show you the bunnies, just like the bunny I just showed you. These I collaged. So I use these exact bunnies, this template, and I collaged it. So if you would like um, to join my newsletter, I will be giving this as my March freebie. I already sent out the February freebie, but these will be um, the template, the design will be for the March freebies. But aren't they so cute? And look at how I did this one with the nose and the eye. I just tore the paper so that it would, I mean, this one didn't, doesn't matter, but this kind of like, looks like an eye there. So you can tear the papers and find colors that you would like that would go good with the eye and the nose and then look at the tail isn't that adorable so i had collage painted this whole background and then i collaged the bunnies and put them on here so easy to do and you can make your own templates or get the royalty free ones like i showed you before so you see how that went together this is all one big it was a 9 by 12 watercolor paper so wanted to show you that so now the february freebie so if you sign up for my newsletter then this is the freebie that you will receive so if you sign up today or any time going forward in the month of february then you will get uh this freebie but you have to contact me and let me know that you because when you sign up you get emails you know sent right away and then you'll get a coupon code to use in my etsy shop and from those, from once you once you uh, sign up, you can reply to me, and then say, could you please send me the February freebie? I won't send you past January or going back, but for February, if you sign up for February, I will send it. But you have to, you have to know this, so you have to be watching this video <laughs> to know. So then, what I am giving this month for the freebie is this original artwork, chicken family picture isn't that so cute and then this pretty tag that was a nice um collage thing that i made and then this one was another one so and this is more like a scallop edge here you can see that on the once you print it out and then this um square also image so these are all for you to use in your personal use but not to resell this as an image like this so if you cut these out and you put them in a project and you sold that project with a finished thing that's that's perfectly fine so now what we're going to do today i'm going to show you how to take this and print it out just on regular printer paper copy paper and i'm got i got some sunlight coming through the curtains here and then we're going to laminate the one side so you don't maybe you don't have white cardstock which i happen to be out of so this is when i always t turn to what's my next choice to get what i want to do and but i want the back so that i can glue it into my journals or make a card whatever i'm going to do with it a tag and in order to do that i need the back of it not to be laminated so to only laminate the top side put in two pieces of copy paper behind the paper that you're going to laminate. Now, the other trick so that you don't waste your laminate is to turn it over and now put something else on this back side that you want laminated so that you're not just wasting the sheet. And then again, it's the same exact thing that will happen is that only the front side will get laminated, but the back side will not get laminated. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do my bunnies. So we're going to put one bunny here. 
and we're going to put one of them in here. And now what's the beautiful thing about this is it will protect this and give it a, you know, so nicer look, a finished look, and it, it, watch what happens when it comes out. So let me just run it through the machine. And since it's two pieces, I'm going to hold it on this side. So if you have, like, the other side was just one sheet, you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to move. But since this is the two, and don't put your hand down in there with that element. It's very, very hot. So once it grabs it, then you just let it do its job and pull it through. And then when these come out, it just takes a few seconds to dry. Cool. Cool. Not dry. Cool. Cool off. And then, oh, it's already looking beautiful. <clears throat> I love my laminator. This is the Scotch brand. Bought it at Walmart. It's like, um, thinking it was like $29, so under $30. And if you buy the paper from Amazon, that's the best price. Unless Walmart's running a deal once in a while. They used to run a 50% off. I don't know if you can catch that anymore but so Amazon was your better deal <clears throat> and this is the matte oh it kind of wrinkled it there I don't like that um it's never done that before probably because it's the watercolor paper but that's okay I mean I can still work with this I might be able to uh get, get rid of that let me let me see something real quick like I said, it's never happened before. So I'm going to take my bone folder and just see. Yeah, it's kind of like I see what it's it's bubbling because of the the extra texture. But that's okay. This one, see, it didn't do it. Just one little tiny bit here. But oh, I know what else I have. Um, gesso on here but this this one is thicker gesso and this one is not all right at any rate no worries everything is good so now we're going to cut it out looking and making sure okay so we're just gonna we want to open it up so you want to cut it right inside wherever the laminate is right at the very edge and that just opens it up so that you can get to what we just laminated. And depending on what you put in here, it depends on can you just cut it wildly like I am, or do you need to be a little more careful and pay attention depending on what it is you put in and how close it is to the edge and all that kind of thing. Okay, so now here's the copy paper. Now it's still paper on the back, but now it's a really nice, sturdy finish on the other side. And now all we have to do is fussy cut these out. It's just quick and easy, quick like a bunny, like I like to say. And you can still glue onto the front of this. You can sew it on the sewing machine. There. So it just gives it a very nice finish. So if you've ever made these, you know what it feels like, and you know what I'm talking about. So it's like plastic is on this front, front side. And so what is it? Like a, mm, a plastic sticker? I'm thinking, how do I want to do him? Just going to trim him down. Take that part there off. And just trim this a little bit more. Okay. Even it up on my 
cutting mat, but that's pretty pretty good. I like this. Isn't that cute? That would make a cute tag. I put that onto the front of a tag, collage the whole thing, decorate it up really cute. Okay, this one, I'm going to come over here and cut this one. Ooh, I should have probably cut it on the black line, but that's okay. I'll cut it here. Actually, I'll cut it on the cut it around this. So it's still the arch shape. So you could cut it on the black line or you can cut it just around the image, which I think I'm going to just do it around the image since I cut off the black line to begin with and didn't think that part out until I realized what I was doing. But it looks beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. I mean, your whole design is already right there, and now I can come in with, with buttons. I can just, I'm thinking right away, I'm thinking, oh yeah, fill this in with, with buttons right away. Really pretty things. That one's a little more fussy, so I'll wait on that one. But you're getting the idea. You're seeing how this all works. Okay, now this one I'm going to cut very close. And that was watercolor paper that I used. So this is going to be really nice. And I can still do decorative stitching on the machine. Rid of that second paper, but see now here's the watercolor paper. Isn't he cute? But now it's all protected, so I don't have to worry about the papers coming loose or catching on something. I was going to take it to the machine and do some decorative stitching on it, but now I won't have to do that. So here is just another way, easy way to, if you have a laminator, so you'll have to buy a laminator if you don't have a laminator. And you will love all of the things that you can use it for. You can buy the gloss laminate sheets or the matte laminate sheets. So this is the matte, which I like. The glossy one just adds a little bit more... What's the word? Oh, just makes it look a little fancier, I think. So I like this. It's very cute. So now I have two little embellishments that I can use. I can put these on a card, on, make a journal out of these. So I'm really, really happy with the way these turned out. And I think you will enjoy this little project. And again, if you'd like to get my monthly freebies, then sign up for my newsletter. And then you can have these embellishments and you can make something really cute this month as well. And then this will be for your March, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And let me see, what other thing was I going to share with you from my Etsy shop? Let me get some goodies. So here we found something for you. I have vintage... Kenmore sewing machine parts comes in the case and these are I mean old <laughs> so if you have a machine like this then you'll know what to do with it obviously I think this is a buttonhole and it says keyhole it has the part numbers it has the sizes back here pearl edge and eyelet. I have no idea what these are, how to use them, but if you are somebody, if you're a seamstress and you know what these are, maybe you just want to use them for something else that I <laughs> can't think of right now either. I don't know what that is. I'm going to throw that away. Should I keep it in there? Looks like it's, what is that? No, I can't even, no, it's broken. 
Okay, this looks like that could be something, so I'll keep that. It seems like maybe that black piece maybe went over that or something somehow. I don't know. So these will be listed in the shop. I had a set of presser feet, and those just sold. So now I'm going to put this whole collection in here, and again, like I said, it says Kenmore, so I'm assuming, I don't know if it goes would work for a singer, and then the part numbers, if there's any part numbers on it, I don't see it on this, but on the other one, there was part numbers, I don't see a part number on this. So I will list this in the shop, and you get the cute little case with it as well, so that will be going in the shop, so you can head on over to the shop. I'll probably put this in the shop tomorrow. And then we have some cute little vintage dolls. So everything in that's resell on Etsy has to be 20 years or older. And so this cute little doll, isn't she cute? It's a Boyd's Bear doll called Snuggle Bees. And these cute little cotton very thick sturdy cotton it's not cheapy and look at the little cute wood buttons and they have little red yarn going across it they all have a bare paw print on their little dresses some have aprons and they all have bloomers and then their little shoes and socks which these do not come off so very very cute and some of them had tags so that I could, and they're, if they, if I found a tag so that I could give you the name of the doll, it's listed in the shop with the listing. And then if I found any uh, stains or anything like that, then I let you know that as well. Like there's some little dot right there. I just noticed I didn't see that before. And, uh, but most of the, for the most part, and I, I don't see any like stains or markings on their legs or their arms or their face. They're all really in excellent condition. So these are, several of these have sold already. So if you would like to pick one of these up and have it be a little companion for your stuffed animal collection, your bunny collection, bears, other dolls, or you want to give it as a gift for one of your Children, nieces, nephew, grandchildren, those it would be so cute and adorable. Isn't she adorable? So I named her the Strawberry Girl because that's what her dress is telling me that that would be her name. So those are the Etsy shop updates. That was your little craft project for today. So thank you again for joining me. Stay safe and we will make our pillows on Monday together. So keep creating in the sunshine. Bye-bye.